Hey, my name is Jeku Arce. I'm with Jeku Arce Photography, and I want to show you what the new bag is looking like. I switched over from Canon to Fujifilm about a year ago, and I've made a lot of changes in the bags over the years. And as a photographer, we get a lot of bags over the years. So the newest thing I've got is this new Pelican case. This is a new Pelican 1510. Just got some inserts, got a divider, just went over a new arrangement. I've got another thing that I'm going on in June. Want to make sure it's ready to go. And let's take a peek inside, shall we? Come with me. Let's go ahead and open this up, shall we? All right. We've laid everything out here. Let's go over ahead and go over each thing. We'll start with the bodies. I'm running two X-T1s with the battery grips. These are go-tos. These do quite nicely. I make sure that I do not put any lenses on them as I put them in the bag and they fit nicely right here. We'll stash those out the bag. And the lenses that I've got so far, this is the 18 millimeter. Uh, this is the 18 millimeter f.2. This is a good, this is my wide angle. Next is my favorite headshot lens. This is the 56 millimeter 1.2. It's a beautiful lens. Great for outdoors. Put that to the side. The other lens that I carry is underneath here. This is the 50 to 140 f.2.8. That's going to go off to the side here. Next is lights. I'm running speed lights in this bag. These are LumoPro LP 180s. I used to have a Nikon SB800. I love that camera flash until I was in a maternity shoot in El Paso and it broke. Uh, it fell down in the desert. So I'm running two of these and these things are great. They're powerful. My favorite part of these is that they have quarter 20 screws right here and they go well with the two light stands that I have included. These are the Manfrotto 5001Bs. I run two of these and two of these fit perfectly in this case. So here's one and here's two. Fit perfectly. Use one as a rim and this one to hold the light, uh, usually my main light. And they fold up nicely and they are good to go. So what do I have for light modifiers? I carry two of these f-stop flash disks. They're very small, they're very portable. Let's go ahead and open one up this, so you can see how big they are and how well they fold up. This is how small they are, this is how big they are. And, ooh, get that bug out of the way, whoo! That's from the last shoot. <clears throat> We're gonna hold, go ahead and fold these up and roll these back in the bag. These are good to stash in your pocket when you need another pot, need a modifier. Or you can just stash them in one of these, just like that. So that's this one. And my favorite lighting kit so far is the Chimera. The Chimera, I forgot to put that in the bag before this video. But this is the Chimera Octa Beauty. This is the Octa 2. Uh, this could be a beauty dish or it could be a or an octobox. This is currently an octobox form. And if you take the Velcro out, it turns into a beauty dish. And because of how it's made, it fits just nicely on the top, which you'll see when we put everything back together. This is the Profoto Speedlight RFL. And comes in a couple parts, so you do have to assemble this together, which is, it's a little bit of a pain, but it doesn't take very long to do. Comes in one, two, three parts. Sorry, take that four parts. And then with a little bit of assembly, I can put this back together. And I have all the screws and stuff in a small plastic bag. Don't forget your umbrella swivel adapter. Make sure you get the nice metal one, not the plastic ones. Those are not so good. Next thing is my woo, color checker passport. 
making sure I get the right color profiles and white balance for each shoot. And I like to shoot with the Tiffin. This is a 7D, a 7 stop ND filter that I keep with me. Sometimes, just can't, especially with shooting at f1.2, it's just too, just can't get the right light for how I want it to be, so got the ND filter to help me out. Last couple things we got is this organizer. Now I'm still looking for the laptop organizer online. They seem to be out for the moment, but Pocket Wizards, I'm running three at the moment. All three of them fit right here. Next, I've got my batteries. These are for double A's. They fit nicely in here. My cables for my Pocket Wizards and also other cables that I have fit in here. I also have this long manual cable with a PC port which goes in the front of my Fuji just in case I run out of batteries and I have a backup and this will go right into the LumaPro LP180 just nicely so and it's a really long cable so I can run this off camera if I need to. Right over here is going to be where the MagMod section is going to be. Some of that stuff is lying around from the last shoot so I'll put that in here shortly. But the gels are here and some of the other attachments and accessories are going to be here. Here I've got some cold shoes. These are the Frios. Usually run about two of these and screw on just nicely onto my light stands. A couple other accessories for lighting and this is the plastic bag I put all the screws in for the Pro Photo uh, speed light ring that goes for hot shoes. So with all of those, we're going ahead and pack everything back in. First of all, let's put the bodies back where they belong. Next, put the, these lenses. One, two, and three. Next are the flashes. They go nicely right there. Next, we're going to go ahead and put these light stands into play. They fit just nicely. Next, our umbrella adapter. Sometimes you got to wiggle, wiggle to make them fit. That fits just nicely. Next are the f-stop flash discs, which they fit right there. The other one's going to go last. And next is this last part where all the filters and the color checker color checker passport goes and then we fill in the rest with the other accessories for the Profos speed light ring off shoe flash jig we'll set this right there it's nice and secure right here nothing's hitting the lens or the flashes and the last part which I didn't show you earlier is how this goes on top for the Shimera Octavini Bank. It folds up nicely like that. Just lay it right across. Make sure nothing's caught. Doesn't take very much space. Make sure nothing's caught. And there you go. That is the new pack for now, and the cool thing is it comes as a stepping stool. Because I'm short, this helps as an extra stool. So, multi-purpose, hard and solid as a rock, it's great for traveling, and it's also overhead compartment compliant. Thanks guys for checking out this video. I've got some other things that are going on. I'm still working on my medium format film stuff. I'm still waiting for it to get developed. Um, I got the scanner that's on the way. I think it's the Espen uh, V800, something like that. Once that comes in, we'll check that out, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and share to the world. See ya!